To write the balanced net ionic equation for copper 2 hydroxide plus sulfuric acid, we first need to balance the molecular equation. To do that, all we really need to do is put a 2 in front of the water. So that balances the molecular equation. Then we write the state for each substance. That'll look like this. If you know your solubility rules, hydroxides in general are insoluble, especially this transition metal here, copper 2 hydroxide. That's insoluble, so we're going to call this a solid. For the sulfuric acid, this is a strong acid, so it's going to be aqueous. It'll dissociate into its ions. Then we have copper 2 sulfate. Sulfates in general are soluble. And then we have water, which is a liquid. Now that we have our states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. That'll look like this. Now that we have the balanced complete ionic equation, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So in our reactants here, I can see that we have this sulfate ion, SO4, 2 minus, and then in the products, we have the sulfate ion. That's a spectator ion, we cross that out. But everything else is unique. So this is the net ionic equation for copper 2 hydroxide plus sulfuric acid. Let's remove the spectator ions. And this is our balanced net ionic equation. Note that the atoms, they're all the same on both sides. The atoms are balanced and the charge is balanced. We have 2 times 1 plus here in the reactants, that's 2 plus, and there's a 2 plus in the product. So charge is the same on both sides as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for CuOH2 plus H2SO4. Thanks for watching.